Moving on from there, we got a first timer here. Andy Avalos is the new head coach of the Boise State Broncos. He played at Boise State. He was the defensive coordinator under Brian Harson before he left and joined uh, Mario Cristobal over at Oregon. Um, and now he's a head coach, and we will see exactly what happens here. Uh, analytics show that there is not a, a single expected loss in Andy Avalos's first season. I don't agree with that, really. Um, the win total is, is at nine. To go over is plus 110. To go under is minus 140. Uh, projected record from SB Plus is 9-3. and three. From FPI, it's 7-5. and five. Yeah. 7-5. and That's five. pretty far off the mark. Yeah. They, they play at UCF. They play at BYU. They play at Fresno, at San Diego State. They've got Wyoming at home. Uh, they got Air Force. They've got Nevada. They got Oklahoma State at home. Like They got, they got some stuff on here that, that could be a little crazy. I can't so, believe they're favored in all those games. Uh, it's a lot of it's returning talent and whatnot, returning production. Did, did uh, you mean Colorado State or San Diego State? You said Oklahoma State. No, they they got Oklahoma State on September eighteenth at home. Oh yeah, the I Cowboys. That now. Yeah, I was looking yeah. at the back end of that. Quarterback Hank Bachmeyer uh, returns for new offensive coordinator Tim Plow. Um, but the issue with Bachmeyer has always been: can he stay healthy? That's right. You know, can he? He hasn't played he a lot of games. Uh, the other part of this is. Last year, they were not really able to produce explosive plays at all. It cost them big in their two losses. Um, you know, the defense allowed five plays per game of 20-plus yards. That is not good. They need Avalos to come in and fix this defense big time. I think that they are going to have some growing pains with a first-year coach. I do, too. I'm shocked yeah. that they're favored to win all of them. I am uh, – well, they're not favored to win all. They are favored to win – uh, it's, well, 11. No, I thought just, okay, yeah. Yeah. El- nope, nope, sorry, 10, 10. Okay, so they I thought are, you said they're, they were favored to win all of them. They, well, they, there's no likely losses. Okay. That's, there's no projected losses, but they, they're still going to be underdogs. Um, a, a couple of them are toss-ups, like Oklahoma State and at UCF, like yeah. both are toss-ups. Um, but they're projected to win every other game, or projected favorites in every other game. I'm going to go under the nine. Yeah, me too. Me too. I, I just, I think it's too much to, to come in and, and try and take over uh, now that Harson has left for Auburn, and and, and yeah, that it's not even just about losing Harson's and bringing in Avalo. It's it's this team is returning a lot of guys, but they weren't. This isn't the best Boise team we've ever seen. No, you're right. You are 100 percent right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.